After our magical history tour shows with the Cavern Club Beatles in Vienna and Ternitz, we headed up to the Austrian Alps to the famous town of Obertauern, to the Hotel Edelweiss to be exact. Here, 50 years ago, was where the Beatles literally learned how to ski whilst filming Help. And here's the German engraving. The owner of this and many other great hotels in town is the Lurzer family, whose patriarch Herbert played the double for Paul in all the ski scenes in the movie. And, to be true to history, Angie and I knitted and crocheted the red and white scarf. It took us three months and it will be auctioned for the Linda McCartney Center in Liverpool. Because of the 50th anniversary, the Steinbock restaurant in the Edelweiss put on a special dinner, Cooking with the McCartneys. Here's the original menu from 1965, signed by all four boys on that very night. Come with me for a sneak peek into the kitchen. Here we are in Overtime. With, with, <laughs> With Rudy. With, the, Rudy, with Rudy, yeah. exactly. Chef Rudy. Rudy. You see, I didn't, I didn't put chef on mine. I just put yeah, my this, name. This is name. This name because is I'm not a chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, folks, is what we call pepper sauce. Here in the Austrian Alps. With the wonderful. Oh, that smells cool, so good. Jenny, Ruth. Nice to meet you. Okay. So this is a real chef. I'm yes. fake chef. You're fake chef. <laughs> As the sun set behind the Alps, dinner was ready. Our courses were Paul's Prosecco, glass onion soup, Henny Lane fish and chips, Sergeant Pepper steak with baked potatoes and greens, and finally, Strawberry Fields shortcake. Mm. The staff were already in their traditional dirndls, and I in my chef coat was making the rounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After the meals were served, Angie and I talked with the guests and fans and asked them about not only their culinary experience, but their Beatles stories. After all, it's not every day that a menu is presented by both McCartney Girls and Chef Rudy's team. Obertown became a Beatles hub for a full two weeks. Fans from all over the world came to visit the Beatles monument and go skiing and take in the various Beatles-themed events in the evenings. Screenings of Good Old Frida, All You Need Is Klaus, Let It Be the Musical, and culminating in our own Magical History Tour. So, vielen Dank to the Lurzer family, Hotel Edelweiss, Hotel Marietta, Raymond Karl, Bernd Seabor, McCartney Group, and Beatles expert Wolfgang Klenke and all the other organizers and event staff. We had a wunderbar time. And as one famous Austrian always says, I'll be back. <laughs>